Danny Riefenstahl is unquestionably a highly talented and skillful artist who excelled in the spheres of dancing, acting, mountaineering, cinematography, photography and directing, and was responsible for groundbreaking cinematic techniques and innovations. Riefenstahl actively created, enhanced and manipulated opportunities to benefit herself. However, although Riefenstahl exploited the political opportunity to create documentaries for the Nazi party, she was more motivated to advance her artistic status rather than comprising intense political motivation. Riefenstahl furthermore exploited the opportunity of working with Frank to master mountaineering and develop filmmaking techniques and skills. This reflects Riefenstahl's diverse artistic talent and motivations, which were enriched through Riefenstahl's exploitation of the opportunity to work with Frank. However, although working with Frank comprised minimal politics, Riefenstahl's acquisition of film techniques provided the foundations for the political opportunity of creating documentaries for the Nazi Party. Ich habe eine politische Versammlung gesehen, heuer beeindruckend. Ich wurde mitgerissen von der ganzen Stimmung und ich hatte damals von Hitler einen sehr, einen faszinierenden... Although many German citizens were entranced by Hitler's speech in Berlin 1932, few Germans wrote a letter, as Lenny did, personally addressed to Hitler via the Nazi paper in request of a meeting. After the meeting, Hitler offered Riefenstahl the opportunity to film the 5th Nazi Party rally at Nuremberg, Victory of Faith. Lenny accepted. This highlights that Lenny was arguably a politically motivated opportunist as Lenny personally contacted Hitler and accepted the opportunity to make films for the Nazis. However, the rally was the first political meeting Lenny had ever experienced, exemplifying her political naivety, and throughout Riefenstahl's life, whenever someone made a significant impression on her, she had to meet them. This highlights that Riefenstahl's letter to Hitler does not reflect the transformation of an event into a politically motivated opportunity. Lenny's eagerness to meet with Hitler epitomizes that Riefenstahl saw the Nazis as an opportunity. Whether it was based on political ideas or purely artistic, Riefenstahl's willing attendance at the Nazi rally and letter to Hitler advanced Riefenstahl's opportunities in cinematography, which she exploited. Even so, the editing alone took two years. As always, she did it herself, obsessively editing and re-editing her film. I need perfection Some twisted selection That tangles me To keep me alive In all that exists When none has your beauty I see your face And I will survive Perfection and glorification of Hitler and triumph of the will contrast to victory of faith, where Hitler is not shown as a supreme symbol and the Nazis lacked orchestrated precision. Although impressive, victory of faith was not as effective as triumph of the will and Olympia. Therefore, although Riefenstahl presented an orderly Nazi regime, she did so as she strived for perfection in both her film techniques and the organisation of the film subjects. Consequently, Riefenstahl would not present an unorderly rally and weak Führer, as it would reflect poorly on her artistic skills. This exemplifies that Riefenstahl exploited the political opportunity to present a perfectly superior Germany, as it reflects favourably on her artistic talent and perfection. Although Riefenstahl never joined the Nazi party and has always asserted that she has remained apolitical, she took advantage of political opportunities and used the most powerful man in Germany to aid her artistic pursuits in cinematography. 
However, it is unlikely Lenny could have continued to remain politically ignorant. Riefenstahl was heavily involved in the organisation of the Nuremberg Rally at Victory of Faith, had a close relation with Hitler, and was well affiliated with Nazi Party members, such as Joseph Goebbels. Therefore, Riefenstahl's lifelong pose of political naivety is not credible, as she was heavily surrounded by politics. Thus, Riefenstahl's opportunism enabled large budgets and unlimited film and cameramen, with in Triumph of the Will 40,000 kilometres of film at her disposal. Without such massive budgets, Riefenstahl would have never been so artistically successful and innovative. Her exploitation of excessively large budgets demonstrates that Riefenstahl transformed her job of creating political documentaries for the Nazis into a situation to exhibit her artistic talent in perfectionist filmmaking. This reflects Riefenstahl's well-calculated manipulation of the political opportunity of producing films for the Nazi party to foster her artistic talent through an unlimited budget, artistic freedom, and as much time, film stock, and personnel she desired. Despite being declared a Nazi sympathiser in 1949, and after the war was excluded from the film industry and was often countering accusations of her political contribution and involvement with the Nazis, Riefenstahl still attempted to transform events into exploitable artistic situations. In 1947, Riefenstahl sought out and signed a deal with Monsieur Desmarais, a French producer. This provided Riefenstahl with the opportunity to work creating films again. However, her French deal was cancelled in 1948 due to the publication of the Eva Braun Diaries. This reflects that Riefenstahl continued to endeavour creating and exploiting artistic opportunities to benefit herself, as she strived to persist producing artistic films after the war and attempted to detach herself as much as possible from the Nazi party, and thus comprised minimal political involvement in her opportunities. However, Riefenstahl habitually photographed aesthetically perfect Africans, although this could reflect that Riefenstahl has retained the political and fascist Nazi ideologies of anthropoid perfection, and exemplifies that Riefenstahl still exploited political opportunities, Lenny continually strive for perfection in both her subject matter and artistic skills. This typifies that Riefenstahl exploited opportunities to advance herself as an artist, rather than being intensely politically motivated. <laughs> Riefenstahl was able to revolutionise cinema under one of the most turbulent regimes of the 20th century due to her constant manipulation of opportunities to advance artistic talent. In particular, Riefenstahl's exploitation of the political opportunity to create films for the Nazi party enabled her to achieve some of her greatest artistic achievements. Therefore, although Riefenstahl did exploit political opportunities, she did so as it was the greatest opportunity to enable her success as an artist. As a result, Riefenstahl exploited the political opportunity of creating documentaries for the Nazi party, as it was the best opportunity available in Nazi Germany to advance her artistic talent. Therefore, although Lenny had some political involvement and was a very calculated and manipulative person, she was not an entirely politically motivated opportunist, but rather an impure artist that exploited her opportunities. Love me, but you won't come by. Well, you come